My dog accidentally swallowed a bunch of Scrabble tiles. I think this could spell disaster. Today, I'm going to recap a 2016 action sport film called Never Back Down, No Surrender. This movie begins with an M&A match. Case Walker is a formidable fighter. He intends to use all of his abilities to win this match. Case appears to be dominating the fight due to his superior fighting skills. Despite this, his coach instructs him to wait patiently and end the fight in two rounds. His coach suggests that if he knocks out his opponent right now, no one will want to fight him again. But Case is eager to end the match. He disregards his coach's advice and quickly wins the match. After the game, the coach resigns, disappointed that Case has not followed his advice. After that, Case meets his old friend and MMA fighter, Brody James, in a club. Brody informs Case that he has signed with PFC Combat and introduces him to PFC Combat's marketing director, Misa Kuz. Brody asks Case to coach him because he is about to compete in the PFC Championship in Bangkok against a tough 7-foot-tall fighter named Sesa Braga. Case refuses and suggests Brody to cancel the fight because Braga isn't easy. But Brody keeps reassuring him knowing Case needs to find his way back and attempts to keep him on the right track. Brody and a woman are kissing in that parking lot. Her husband comes with another man. They shoot a video, and her husband attacks Brody. Seeing this, Case understood this all was just a drama, so he knocked the big guy out. The next morning, Case reluctantly accepts Brody's offer and goes to Thailand. After Brody and Braga arrive in Thailand, they hold a press conference in preparation for the match. One reporter brings Braga's ex-wife into their conversation. Braga, unable to control his anger, eventually flips the table in front of him, which causes everyone else to be terrified. However, that wasn't the end of it. After releasing his rage in the restroom, he breaks the mirror. After witnessing Braga's formidable power, Brody's desire to fight is immediately dulled. Then Case arrives in Thailand and goes to his hotel, which is not very good. Case puts his belongings in storage at the hotel and makes his way to Top Fight Gym, which is Brody's training place throughout the PFC combat. But nobody seems to want Case there, not even Brody's coach, Matty Ramos. While Case prepares the equipment needed to train Brody, a fighter known as Cobra is also training. Everyone is excited because Cobra is the gym's strongest fighter after Brody. In a practice match, Cobra can easily knock out his opponent, but his attention diverts when he notices Case training alone in the corner of the room, which he finds very unconvincing. Brody then arrives at the gym and asks Case to spar with him. But Cobra steps in and demands that Case spars with him first. Case is hesitant to serve Cobra, but because he is so confident in his abilities, Case eventually agrees to spar with him. During practice, Case blocks Cobra's movement with no effort and only uses a few basic movements that require little energy to bring Cobra down. Cobra is finally rushed to the hospital for medical treatment, suffering a moderately severe injury. The next day, PFC Combat President Hugo Vega demanded accountability from Case because he injured one of his best fighters. Vega asked Case to take the place of Cobra. He immediately declines the offer because he no longer wishes to fight under Vega's authority after it is revealed that Vega has a history with him. An upcoming fighter by the name of Taj approaches Vega and begs him to make him a replacement for Cobra. Vega, however, loses his patience after simply seeing Taj fight and he eventually leaves. After that, Taj and another fighter named Creech go up to Case while he is training and begs to teach them to fight. After Case finishes his training, he plans to work as a coach for the two young men. That evening, Case instructs Taj and Creech in some fundamental punching techniques. The following day, Misa, who appears to have feelings for Case, approaches him with a date proposal. After immediately accepting her invitation, Case, who also appears to like Misa, learns for the first time that Misa is a single mother to a daughter named Morgan. During the time between Case and Misa, it turns out that Maddie is watching the two of them together, and he ultimately decides to tell Brody about it. On the other hand, because Brody hasn't been showing much training spirit as of late, Vega suggests that Brody take steroids so that the fight goes well, he can defeat Braga, 
and it will help Braga recover before the next match. The conversation moves on to Maddie telling Brody about Misa and Case, and how their date was cut short when Misa brought up Case's time in prison, making Case very uneasy. That evening, while Brody is at the gym, he immediately challenges Case to engage in a fight. However, Brody attacks Case without discrimination, and Case retaliates with sharp attacks, which he continues to do until he finally manages to knock Brody down. Case then inquires as to whether Brody has lost control, but it appears that their friendship has come to an end. The following day, Misa apologizes to Case for the fact that she caused him discomfort by bringing up the past. After a night of training, Case and Brody decide to have dinner together. At that moment, Brody realizes he has made a mistake, and he immediately apologizes to Case before becoming consumed by jealousy and losing control. Case is assured by Brody that the latter will conduct himself in an honorable manner and that Misa will prove to be an excellent partner for him and be supportive of their relationship. Brody shares with Case that he wants to focus more on his workouts because the fight against Braga is drawing closer, and he is determined to win against the larger opponent. Case does, in the end, uncover that Brody is following Vegas' advice and taking steroids. Brody trains with Case and Maddie to beat Braga. Elsewhere, the relationship between Case and Misa grows stronger, and the two begin going out on dates and spending more time together. One day, one of Vega's men pays a visit to Case and offers him a contract so that he is willing to become a fighter in PFC combat. Case turns down the offer, and the man who visits him is one of Vega's men. When Case and Brody arrive at the gym the following day, they find other fighters huddled together and watching the videotape of Case defeating a racist cop while the victim was in handcuffs two years earlier. The video quickly received massive publicity and caught the attention of many people, leading to the arrival of journalists interested in interviewing Case. After that, Misa transports Case to one of Vega's houses so that he can hide out there, away from the prime gaze of the media. She suggests to Case that they take up Vega on his offer to compete in PFC combat. However, Case continued to decline. The next day, Case arrives at the gym and is astonished to see that Vega has sent a Sambo wrestler called Boris to assist Brody, which he and Maddie believe is unnecessary and might injure Brody. Case and Maddie's fears are realized when Boris injures Brody's knee while training, requiring Brody to undergo thorough therapy for weeks, although his battle against Braga is in just a matter of days. Since Brody is hurt, Vega then offers Case a million dollars to fight Braga, so that Case will fight Braga. Misa tells Case that Vega has sought Brody's injury the most thus far. Case then suspects that Vega may have inadvertently harmed Brody on purpose. Case's suspicions are finally confirmed the following day, when he covertly searches Boris' locker and discovers a text message between Boris and Vega. In the message, Vega instructed Boris to injure Brody, allowing Case to take his place. He informs Brody, Misa, and the others about the situation. Case comes to the understanding that he is, in fact, compelled to fight. But Case and the others are resolved to find a way to stop Braga and Vega, who stand to gain a lot of money from the fight and to demonstrate that Hugo Vega is to blame for Brody's injuries. Also, Case starts putting in a lot of work in the gym in preparation for the battle against Braga. Misa, who had just become Case's girlfriend, informs Vega, on the night of the fight, that she has resigned from her position with him and would no longer be working for him. Case's struggle against Braga draws the attention of many people, including a well-known martial arts star from Thailand named Tony Ja, who later reveals that he supports Case. While Case is having a conversation with Brody in the locker room, he finally realizes how to stop Vega and hold him accountable. He is intentionally stirring up trouble with Braga outside of the ring. After successfully igniting Braga's rage, he instantly attacks Case. They ultimately battled outside the ring, with the whole crowd and the media team covering the heated combat there to see it. Case struggles to get up and utilizes Kyokushin, a classic karate technique, to successfully shatter Braga's ribs after Braga drops him and corners him numerous times with various assaults intended to kill him. Case proceeds to utilize conventional karate techniques, 
even though the move turns out to be fairly successful. He gets Braga in the head with a Kaditin Gary, which causes the big guy to collapse and become unconscious. Vega is forced to take a significant financial hit due to the fight being called off, since Braga could win the match outside the ring. This leads to Vega's audience and sponsors demanding their money back. Vega is enraged and threatens legal action against Case. But then Case informs Vega that they have proof of his participation in the accident that wounded Brody, and he threatens to report Vega, which might cost Vega millions of dollars in lawsuits. Case, Misa, Brody, and their friends then exit the fighting arena, knowing they have achieved their goal. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.